using the C word. That's what I said on the mastermind call yesterday. And so I want to share with you what it is because it drives me crazy. Don't use the C word. Accountants need to stop using the C word. Don't use the C word. What am I talking about? Let me just go over here. Let's talk about this. What is the C word? What is the C word? Let's put it down there. What's the word that we should never use? Cost. Never put cost down on anywhere on a piece of paper. Don't talk to your clients about cost. Don't say cost. It's the C word. It's the negative C word. Why do I say this? It's because it creates a price sensitive client. Because now you've now aligned yourself with all the costs in their life. And so the taxes they pay the government, the federal taxes is a cost. The provincial taxes are a cost. The consumption taxes are a cost. The person, like all these taxes, personal, federal, provincial, or state, cost, 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 cost. Oh, and here's what my cost is. The cost to be your accountant. Cost. No, 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 no. If you're going to talk to them when you do, sorry, not if you, when you do talk to your clients about your prices, you'd say, you can use this word, use price. No problem. The word that I prefer is investment. Okay. Investment is the word that you want to use. Use investment because investment <clears throat> is attributed back to what do you do when you get an investment? You're always looking for an ROI. It's a return on investment. So when I talk to the accountants in the accountant success formula, all my coaching clients, never use the C word because cost equals pain equals suffering. Okay. That's what happens. You don't want to align yourself with your clients to say that you're a negative, you're a cost. No, you're an investment. Here's the investment in the accounting services I provide you. So then the client can make a decision and say, Oh, ROI. And so the, the little saying or the saying that we use, and it's a little saying, is if the price and the value, price and I'm starting to lose my felt here, starting to go. If the price and the value align, okay, so price and value. So if the client sees the value in your services and the price and the value align, then you sign. If the price and the value don't align, you don't sign. It's really quick. It's really simple. It's really easy. But I see so many accountants suffering, especially this time of year. It's so busy. Tax season. Everything's going nuts. I have talked to so many accountants that are suffering so much. And then they have all these price sensitive clients. I kid you not. I had this one that I talked to. They said their client freaked out because the monthly bill wasn't $170. It was $200. Like, can you imagine having to have a conversation with a client because their monthly bill was like $30 difference? You know who I'm talking about. Stephen, you know I'm talking to you. You want to get out of that. Get away from being considered a cost and, and a price sensitive clients and start moving into that value conversation with your clients. Anyways, I'm in a bit of fire right now because I'm really pissed off. So many accountants are suffering right now and it's so unnecessary, but it's not your fault. If you're suffering right now, it's not your fault. It's the traditional accounting firm business model that's the fault. That's why I always talk about updating your model because when you update your business model, you can take, when you take back control of your business model, you can take back control of your life. So I just said the end piece that I'm gonna do at the end of this, which I do at every video because it's true. Take back control. So first things first, no more cost. Don't use the C word. You're an investment and the client needs to make a buying decision based on the investment. Is there a proper return on investment? If the price and the value align, then they sign. So it gets us away from focusing on cost and are internally going, I need to create more value for the client. How do I do that? And then you guys can stop suffering because tax season doesn't have to suck. And it does for you, a lot of you right now. And it really pisses me off. I don't want to see you suffering anymore. So if you're interested, please reach out. Have a conversation with me. I can show you what the accountant success formula can do for you. I beg you, you don't have to suffer anymore. So there you go. Now here comes the close. I'm Eric Solbakken, reminding you that when you take back control of your business model, you can take back control of your life. Stay tuned for more success tips to come.